ultimate admonitory prophet for the church. And of course, she gave us her prophecy, her revelation, which is a reflection, as Father Gruner says, of the gospel itself at Fatima. And we've heard it said that this is a private revelation. I won't go a step further with this talk until I dispose of that nonsensical objection. God did not provide a private revelation for 70,000 of his closest friends in the field at COVID area. He provided to those 70,000 and for the world to see, and as the New York Times reported, and as Warner Brothers mentioned in a movie which was devoted to this miracle, an incredible event involving the details of which we all know. The sun plummeted to the earth, spun in the sky, changed colors, altered the landscape, dried the soaking witnesses instantaneously, provoked cures and conversions and so forth, and was seen miles distant from the Kova. And Pope after Pope has attested to the authority of the revelation as worthy of belief, and indeed a revelation, a message of the Mother of God. And John Paul, too, has added it to the calendar of the Roman liturgy. The Feast of Our Lady of Fatima is now an official part of the Roman liturgy. You cannot ask for a higher papal approbation of a Fatima apparition. Now, the, the apparition, which is no private revelation, but as Father Gruner has said, a public prophetic revelation tied to the gospel is both a warning and a prescription. And the warning is twofold. The warning concerns a crisis in the church and a crisis in the world. And as I show in the book and as I noted elsewhere, Pius XII noted the crisis in the church as an element of this warning precisely in reference to the message of Fatima when he said, and I'm quoting, I am worried by the Blessed Virgin's messages to little Lucia of Fatima. This persistence of Mary about the dangers which menace the church is a divine warning against the suicide of altering the faith in her liturgy, her theology, and her soul. Remember I mentioned a moment ago the party of the innovators. Here's what Pius XII said. I hear all around me innovators who wish to dismantle the sacred chapel, destroy the universal flame of the church, reject her ornaments, and make her feel remorse for her historical past. A day will come when the civilized world will deny its God when the church will doubt as Peter doubted. Not Pope Benedict. Pope Benedict, as I've just shown you, said in 2010, the message of, message of Fatima involves a prophetic mission that is not concluded. It involves future realities which are revealing themselves today, little by little, in a very terrifying way, and speaks of a persecution of the church worse than any external persecution but rather one involving internal enemies of the church who attack her from within. And yet Cardinal